okay, the access got stuck and I recorded and at that time the voice did not record for the next 15-20 minutes so I am making it again so I will make it quick this time uh, we were making the option uh, the combo boxes the combo list or the list box or the drop down list for the year group uh, uh, it is not in your box but still I want you to uh, make sure that we, you never know what happens in the exam so this is the combo box when you enter the combo box there are different options to get the values in the combo box for now I will type in the values that I want and then I'm going to use 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 next store that value in the field that is the year group as I told you a form is a bound object this form is bound to the table students every control should be bound with a specific field so this field this control that we are adding the combo box it should be bound to the year group whatever value we select in the combo box it should go into the year group uh, field so now uh, what label would you want I want year group list finish so now let's see how does it work save it first and then go to the form view now you can see uh, right now uh, I have all this okay this is the student student number 11 7 next 8 student number 13 9 student number 14 10 and and so on so you can go to the table and you can see 7 8 9 10 so these are the student number 11 12 these are the se uh, selections that we did in the form so this is how you do the combo box or the drop down list a simple list is something different which I'm not going to show right now so don't worry but it is something different design view in your book you are supposed to make the options option group or the option buttons or the radio buttons for this field for the options it's like this is the radio button that you must have used somewhere online or any other online form this lets you select only one value at a time and a circular button it's just generally means indicates that only one value can be selected but how does the access know that out of like for example I have two groups a gender group and a year group so those are uh, different three um, I have to select male or female and I have to select different years so I will make two groups for that whatever option buttons are available inside one group it makes the access uh, uh, indicates to access that only one value from this group can be selected so first you have to make the group otherwise um, your options will not work an option group contains a set of option buttons check boxes or toggle buttons you can choose only one option so I will select here now here is I am deliberately writing year 9 year uh, 10 whatever I'm just trying to write 11 because these are the labels only this is not the value that will go in the uh, field so this is just to show you the default choice is year 7 or whatever you want a default choice or not now click in an option in an option group sets the value of the option group to the value of the selected option meaning I, if I select year 7 my value would should be 7 or sh what should it be uh, right now they are giving me one which I don't want because year 7 should give me 7 8 should give me 8 year 9 should give me 9 if I select 10 it should give me now these values are the ones that will go into the table and be stored there okay so this is important maybe your table requires one to three values uh, like for example in university there is uh, freshman there is a junior or a senior or whatever they have self sophomore the, uh, these can be one two three four and you can write like freshman, sophomore, uh, junior and the senior 
levels here or you can write a simple you can indicate uh, f s uh, j and s or senior s n whatever you want to write so labels are just the labels they are not giving you any values but there the corresponding values should be according to the uh, table field data type in our field in our field of year group the data type is number and we want only 7 8 9 10 11 values to be stored in there so these values should be corresponding to that data type next uh, where what do you want to do with the value of the selected option do you want to save it for the later use or you want to store the value in a specific field i want to store it in the year group so i will select it like here so make sure that you are selecting the proper field here next what type of controls I will leave it as it is option buttons that is the most generally uh, um, op option you should select because the option buttons are the ones that indicate basically uh, it's you know our understanding that options only one can be selected the check boxes you can select multiple toggle is more like an on off switch so it's something different next what caption do you want I will use year group options I'm going to arrange it a little bit I'm going to take it smaller so that it doesn't take too much space on my form save it then go to the form view now here you can see that both this group list and the group options they are corresponding to the same field that is the year group field so they will both work at the same time if I change it to year 9, this will change. It should change. 11, 10. Okay, pretty cool, huh? Then you can. I will go to. Um, there was one student, Cooper. Okay. I can change it to 9. Or you can change it from here and it will be changed here. Okay. So this is how your option groups work. This is how your combo box works. Now the record navigation, you can easily see this is the bar that navigates through the records. This is the first record. One of 180 indicates which record we have. If you want to go to record number 100, 110 for example, it will take you to 110 record. Go to the next one, previous one, last one and add a new blank record. Okay, you can see, I, I hope that this is fine. I don't know the actual initials of the teachers, so I will just write like this, 7, instead of 7, I'm going to write 10. Okay, and when you just go to uh, in previous or the next or like that, it will automatically save everything here. So we have record 189. You can go to the students. You will go to the last one. You can see. Uh, no, I think it. What is the record that we added? Okay. Let's see. Huh, this is it. G three four five six seven. It should be okay. We will close and open it again. Let's see what happens. Yeah, one eighty nine. It was one eighty eight. Yeah, we have to close it and open it again. So you can see the last record came here. G three four five six seven. This is the one that we added ourselves. Then we have the search. Maybe a student comes and asks you, then you can to search for their record or something like that. There is no Justin here. We have yeah, Julie. Okay. Wherever it finds that record, it will take you. Okay. To that record. So this is the record navigation. This is the option box, this is the combo box, these are the controls. You can add your name uh, and your 
I'll go to the design view. I think it was not added here. Yeah. In the form footer, you will be asked footer or the header. Of course, you will be asked to enter your name, your candidate details and everything. So you will use labels to enter that information. Candidate number and center number. If you need to add the date, you can find the date here, date and time. Include date. I don't want to include the time. And they add it at the top. I just for in, for example on the right it is uh, supposed to be on the right margin on the right in the footer so you can add it and I always recommend that you change all the text to black because we'll already be uh, printing in the monochrome in the grayscale so it will be very light I will select all this and change it to black also so this is your let's see the form view when you print it, this will be printed with it. You can see the <coughs> print preview. This is your print preview. And of course, that uh, this is the details uh, of the form. I will go to the design view. And let's see what does our print preview gives. Again, this is our preview. Or I think you will be asked to take a screenshot or whatever you are asked, take a screenshot and put it in your evidence document. So make a recording to that. So now I hope it was recorded before. This is the form header, the detail, the form footer. These are the different parts of the form design. In the form header, of course, uh, you have the title and everything. Details is contains the records details. Form footer may contain your name and your date or whatever. Uh, if you I just want to revise this that when you this is the property sheet you have the different options the all the labels all the controls or the parts of the form are available here go to the form and then see the record source where is the source of the records coming from this is our students table you can select different tables here but you should know how this work this form is bound to the students table for example, if I change this, select this S student underscore F name, the name is this, the control source is the name of the field. So whatever you do, do not, do not ever, ever change this. Do not change this. When you change this, a green sign or warning, this uh, triangle will appear at the top left corner, which indicates that this control is not bound to any field it cannot find this field okay no such field in the field list invalid control property it cannot find this field so you can change it to the one available that is the underscore f name so this green indication means that this control is not bound like this name candidate number we don't need it to be bound to anything so you it it is fine over here Okay. Uh, new unassociated label, it is fine for us, so leave it like that. So just in case if in any text box especially, your, uh, uh, it, if it doesn't contain any formula, then if your form says that there is unbound, so you have to select, check the control source of that text box. Okay, hope everything is clear now. So best of luck for your exams.